We believe the XE series is a great controller series for vMix users because it's so extendable and it's so easy to add support for more inputs by attaching new modules. But there's one particular module that's very powerful for vMix users and that would be the replay module, the XC8. So you could connect an XC8 to a trunk of modules like this one or like in this case you can use it standalone. And that's because Skahoy XC series allows you to equip the modules with a uh, master capability. So this would be a master or a module because it has the connector here. This would only be a module. It has no ethernet plug on the backside. This could either be a master or a module again. So for this demonstration, we have uh, decided to use this in a standalone setup. The replay controller is connected to vMix. We have vMix on the screen behind me. And um, as the poor input source we have to work with today will be the web camera uh, pointed at me. And the way it works, let's say I'm a live event and I'm doing a lot of really funky stuff we want to see again and again and again in slow motion. I now press the minus four button. So I set an endpoint minus uh, a four seconds back in time and that's now recorded in the event list you see right there. If I want to adjust the endpoint of this event, I use the jog shuttle wheel. If I move uh, on the, uh, the shuttle here, it's um, continuously moving the endpoint back in time. If I use the, the jog, I can adjust it down to the single frame. And when I'm happy uh, with this, um, I could decide to play it back in slow motion by pressing this button and then I'm able to adjust the playback speed of my um, recorded clip which we now see in this window and then it completes and it goes back to live again. So let's record another event. It could be minus 6 or minus 15. Um, so as that means 6 or 15 seconds back in time. This is configurable, something you can do in Unisketch and uh, I make a minus 15. So we now have a new event added to the list. These buttons can be used to uh, walk up and down in the event list and uh, select which one I want to use for um, playback for, for replay. So of course we also integrated some management of the event banks themselves. We are currently in event bank number one and I might like to move any of these events over to another bank. So uh, with these buttons I can select the event. I take the last one here and then on the controller to move an event I will hold down the copy function and then I will choose bank number four. So now I have moved this event over to bank number four and in the software we'll just confirm this is what actually happened. So we see in bank number four we have this event placed. Now we go back to event bank number one again and let's try to move something instead. So uh, we'll select the, uh, the first one in the list and move over to event bank number eight. So we do this by pressing the red key and moving to event bank eight. It disappeared from this list and we should now see that it reappears in event bank number eight. So this is the basics of how the X, uh, XC8 replay controller works with vMix, with the jog shuttle wheel for adjusting the in point, managing which events you want to play back, having the nice T-bar to adjust the playback speed, all that you need to make a great live production.